Strumming fundamentally is a forearm motion you want to move from your elbow. Your elbow should be on top of the guitar, sat in close at the inside of the elbow, on the top of your guitar, holding it nice and close into your body, making sure that it doesn't slip down your guitar like this at all. And you want to make sure you're keeping your wrist as close to the guitar as possible while trying to hold it still. So if I do one single strum with this motion, you can see that I just drag the pick down each string, as e catching each string as evenly as possible while keeping my wrist and the rest of my hand still. I'm holding my pick between my thumb and the side of my first finger and I've got my hand as if I'm holding an ice cream cone. Just set the pick just here. You can hold it if you keep dropping it and if that gets too frustrating for you, you can hold it between two fingers and your thumb like this. But I really recommend trying to persevere and gain it between just the first finger but holding that in place with the other three fingers and trying to keep it nice and secure. You're holding your wrist still but try not to tense any part of your body or shoulders or neck when you're strumming. Think about it like standing up straight. You want to not really tense while you're doing it but you just have to hold yourself in place to be able to maintain that good posture and strumming is no different. Again I'm just using an E major chord as my example. And when we're strumming four down strums just the once, you can see that the motion remains the same for every strum and that's the important thing. That's what we're trying to get by going for this super simple strumming pattern. We're trying to get the correct hand motion to be able to take you forward and nail the trickier ones that are really going to showcase your skills. This strumming course is the foundation of rhythm guitar. So there is rhythm guitar which is chords and strumming uh, which a singer could then sing over or someone would play lead guitar over. Lead guitar being a single note melody or something else a little bit more delicate um, that goes over rhythm guitar. So it's the rhythm that's all important. If your rhythm is not even at this stage, there is no foundation in which to build upon. If your hand motion is uneven and you're sometimes hitting the thicker ones and sometimes the thinner ones and that's not consistent and it's not helping uh, the sound that we're trying to achieve, which is even, then everything will fall apart going forward for the more trickier ones. So even tempo and catching all the strings evenly is the best thing. I recommend um, Jim Dunlop picks a 0.73 or thinner um, to make sure your pick is working in your favour to be able to catch the strings as even as possible. But it's the hand motion and swinging from the elbow in this sort of fashion and keeping this wrist close, so not doing this is what's going to really help you. If you're strumming with your wrist really out like this, then your natural tendency is going to be move your wrist all the time, which isn't what we want at all.